Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad that you're here. There has been some blowing up news. I was just about to come down and do this video and then I'm getting messages about the Shea Carl situation and oh my gosh. So I'm a little distracted because I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that. And at the same time, people are like, oh, we want some more Doctor Who doesn't snark and so I gotta give you some snark during the week. Cause it's been a bunch of serious videos throughout the whole week. And so we gotta do this. So someone said, you gotta watch her back to school, first day back to school video. And I said, okay. I'll watch it for you guys. So today, on the Dad Challenge Podcast, we're going to watch Dockery Dozen first day back to school, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. So if you know anything about the Dockery Dozen, they are the newest, freshest family vlogger on the scene and she makes a lot of her content about like being a mom of 12 and um, making shitty sandwiches and cooking terrible food and like making breakfast for kids who aren't going to be up for two hours really weird things because she stumbled onto an algorithm that made her hundreds of thousands of dollars a month i'm not even kidding she's been sponsored by many companies most recently i think she was sponsored by lysol and she's like spraying lysol into sandwiches and shit like that i don't know what she's doing but don't spray lysol into sandwiches okay Okay, cool. Um, so she's making bank. They're buying a new house. Their house has been listed. And uh, they buy, she buys like a, a horrendously disgusting amount of disgustoid food. Now, I did my shopping trip and people were like, Josh, your food's the same. And I was like, is it? Go watch my shopping vlog and tell me it's the same as Alicia. People are like, where's your fruits and vegetables? And I get that. The answer is that we order a food prepping service. So they send us a box full of fresh food that we make our meals with because we like them. They're delicious and it's cheaper than eating out, like a lot cheaper. So that's where we get our fruits and vegetables. So I just should have said that in the video. I don't know why, because that's actually quite expensive too. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on. We just kind of snark on her because she exploits these children's stories for her own financial gain and spends like, yes, yeah, she spends a lot of money on the kids because she makes a lot of money spending that money on the kids, right? All of it's a write off if she films it and she gets to make the view count and the AdSense and gets subscriber and gets, now I have to throw out everything that I have in my house that's Lysol. Lysol is garbage. I'm not gonna use Lysol anymore. Like when companies use family vloggers to advertise their products, when the whole world knows that it's, exp that it's exploiting children, then like, how dumb are you? Do a little research there, Lysol people and everybody who's, who sponsors these people, do a little research. Now, if I said I wasn't gonna use anything family vloggers used, we couldn't use anything because they get sponsored by everybody. But you can target people like Lysol and say, hey Lysol, I appreciate Lysol, but did you know that these families that you are supporting actually give away these kids information and they give away all their secrets and they tell the internet everything and they exploit them for cash. I don't think that is really good for your brand to do that. You could say that in a tweet or whatever. Just saying. Anyway, let's get into this video because you know her videos are so long and effing boring. She doesn't cut anything. There's no editing and her freaking aspect ratio is off. Always off. So I haven't seen this video. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Okay. Hi, everyone. It's a. Are you okay? What happened? So her eyebrows are clearly fake because now they're that's the natural. Why do you paint your eyebrows purple then? It looks fine like that. Alicia and Josh Doherty with the Doherty Death. Josh, she's taking a dump back there, not gonna lie. It is no gang signs. 6 a.m. on the first day of school. We are about to get the kids up. Why does she get up at 6 a.m. when actually school actually starts? When that's probably the time you should be getting up at 5 a.m. to do everything. So why? What has changed? Why are we getting up at 5 a.m. On, on the freaking summer? What an idiot. She's such a liar, guys. She's a liar. Uh, we have 12 kids. Today's the first day of school for 11 of them. So <laughs> I got to say this. Like, you guys make hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? And you got bone ape tit on your wall up there. And this guy's eating out of a freaking paper plate bowl. He's eating out of a paper bowl with, with, a, plastic, with a plastic spoon. That's no way to live, everybody. You feel, you feel like you're at, like, Christian camp or some shit. So we thought we would show you what our morning routine is with 12 kids and what it looks like <laughs> to get... Sitting, sitting there. <laughs> Are we going to do a Josh roast today? Is that what we're going to do? Like, he totally 
wears beaters that are way too small for him and shouldn't wear them at all. He absolutely has like this trail of hair that goes down to his ass crack. It's really weird. He's afraid of snakes. He regrets his life choices. Like, he totally just waters his driveway instead of sweeping it. Stop wasting water. You guys can't waste water anyway. He loves going to the post office. (laughs) It's weird, I know, right? Takes advantage of the free DVDs he can rent at the library. His dream car, Kia Soul. Bart's in his sleep and says, oop, peas sitting down. His favorite food, bear noodles. With not even butter on them. Burns everything on the grill. Chill, dude. Can't swim. Looks at the contrails from airplanes and says, see? Government's coming for you. Does not know how to use a can opener. It's, I know. (laughs) Definitely has stinky armpits. And it's not just like a little stinky. It's like you walk by and it's like, whoa, you all right, bro? Get to the doctor. Is allergic to milk, but still drinks milk. Doesn't care if it gives him diarrhea. He likes milk. Has one spot that he sits in his living room. No one else is allowed to sit there. And it's got like his ass print and smell in that chair and is never going to get rid of it. Doesn't matter how much money they get. He's never getting rid of that chair. Watches football. (laughs) Thinks checkers is harder than chess. <laughs> Favorite board game? Twister. Uses off-brand power tools. Shaves Alicia's back. And doesn't mind it, actually. He's like, it's, it's a bonding moment. Can't draw sh- for shit. Not even a stick person. His favorite band? Take that. It's not bad. It's a good band. Believes all conspiracy theories. Thinks the Buffalo Bills is a good team. <laughs> Wears plastic bags in his winter boots. Asks the kids at school to call him Mr. D. Getting them out the door to four different schools. Uh, let's go. But first. But first, white claw. Oh, it's not a clear one. Can't tell if it's coffee or not. Oh. So you're getting them at six, and the first thing you do is put your makeup on to get your kids up to the bus. Okay. All right, whatever. You're a mom. Do what you gotta do. Oh, here she. Oh! Oh, you see, good to see how this works. Yeah. Why? I don't get it. But why red? Because she want to match her hair? Because I know redheads. Do they have, like, I, I don't know. I'm a, I don't know anything about makeup and shit. But she goes a little too hard on that. So I'm, like, it just looks like it's now, it's like neon signs on her forehead. Chill. It just got real clowny in here. Holy, she goes hard on that one too, eh? It makes her look worse. Can somebody send her like a tutorial on how, what to do if you're this person on how to make yourself not look worse after your makeup, please? What is that? That she just painted lines on her face playing football? What just happened? This guy finishes his bowl of cereal in his freaking paper bowl. <laughs> Throws that shit in the garbage, and then we get paper straws, like this guy. I absolutely love paper straws. They're like the perfect alternative to plastic straws. They're better for the environment. Sorry, just one second. And like you're saving turtles. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, soggy, soggy. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Mine is literally never soggy. Solidarity, bro. This like light piano dinner jazz. And then she looks like this after. At 6 a.m. I don't know. Well, yeah, because they know you have a camera about to go in the room. What if he has a morning boner? Oh, they have Comic Sans on their wall. Of course they have Comic Sans on their wall. Of course she does. I could be just... At this point, why am I surprised? Nevaeh at six o'clock. What is, wait, oh, Nevaeh's the teenage da- daughter, right? Okay. She's like, F off. Okay, bye. Just bye, put it in the cart. She's up. And then in here, who to breakfast, I made their favorite pumpkin chocolate chip bread, <clears throat> sausage with oranges. Does that sausage literally look like it was cooked two hours ago and that was probably drier than Joe Biden's earlobes? Okay. Ew. Holy shit. Lunches are packed. And I'm sure she did a video on that. Happy first day of school. Look how many cans of shit she has in there. (laughs) 
See, here's the thing. Alicia's trying so hard to be like the other uh, you, you, yummy mummies, what do you want to call them? It's just not going to happen, Alicia. Okay, you don't have the house for it. She's like, I'm going to do the balloons. And then you take the photos with like a camcorder. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, stop. Stop it. Nice orange Crocs. I was kidding. Those aren't nice. They're ugly. Okay, good. You dropped a balloon on the ground. This is so dumb. <laughs> Here's our balloon arch in front of our 100-year-old garage door full of puck marks. <laughs> Smile! Okay, why is this not standing up straight? Because you suck at this. Don't you know you're supposed to hire other people to do that? You pleb. Remember Tara Blanderson when she did the birthday balloons? There's like brown and light pink, red. <laughs> there's no color at the birthday party. And the lawn's yellow and there's like a white bouncy castle. <laughs> Literally looked like a serial killer's birthday party. Well, maybe I can just shut the garage and then, like, prop it up. Yeah, because what is that going to be a background? Balloons and then a whole garage full of shit you don't use? Sounds good. Maybe you should shut the garage. Awesome. The garage. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't cut anything. <laughs> if she shows the whole thing closing, I'm going to be pissed. Are you serious? Cut this! Oh my god, Alicia, you're pissing me off. Hi, you are currently being recorded. <laughs> they got all these cameras outside. I think she did this so she can show you guys. Don't approach our home because, hi, you are being recorded. Welcome to the Dr. Lee Dozen. You're being recorded. Bad. This is bad. That looks, that looks shitty. I'm shitty, yeah. Agreed. Shitty. How much does she pay for this balloon arch? Probably five hundred dollars. Okay. Oh my God! Get to it. You. Oh, you better. You better get to it. Does no one comment, Alicia? Why did you show us five minutes of you aligning balloon arch? Are you serious? Stop it. It looks better. No, it doesn't. It does not. It looks dumb. There's one hanging down that's weird. A snail on my backdrop. Who cares? Let the snail live. Let the snail. Okay, I gotta get the rest of the kids up. Alex, it's 630. Alex! 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 James, come on. It's 6.30. Stop walking in your kids' rooms to film you waking them up. It's weird. Now we know the entire outlay of your home. You asshole. You're so dumb. Come on. You got school. What, Bodie? What, Bodie? Oh, my God. You idiot. Literally serving up on a silver platter. Yeah. This idiot. He's Patrick and Bree's bus driver, too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> he thinks she's taking a picture. You want to get a picture? No. You're literally now on the internet in front of like 800,000 subscribers. Just so you're aware. Dr. Dozen has 900,000 subscribers now. 900,000. Okay. Averaging 215,000 views per video. Oh my god. She's making money. Holy shit. I wonder if there's any comments like, hey, please don't show your kids everything. Please. Nobody says he probably deletes them. Probably deletes those comments. Oh my god. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I already did it. Hi. Again, he thinks she's taking a photo. Yes. How long was that mattress in the grass for? <laughs> Here's the bus. Oh my god. She's so dumb. Kid, 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 kid. I know. It's like an assembly line of kids going to school. She's so dumb. I think Carly made her picture. The outside of her house makes it look like her house is nice. And then you go on the inside and it's like, what are these colors? 
what do you think? Okay. That's forwarding. Oh, here's the air bus. This way. And I look. Nobody even took their lunch pails. <laughs> you know. She just makes it and then throws it on the ground. The disaster that. Here's the thing. This way is so fake because she does all the stuff. She makes all the lunches and half the kids or more than half the kids throw that lunch pail on the ground. They put it in their backpack, their real backpack. Throw that shit on the ground and then they leave. So she just all. It's all fake. Was created from 12 kids getting ready this morning or you can tell your kids hey when you're getting ready in the morning clean up after your damn self that's what you can do too right is that yeah is that thing it's just like, why is there tennis balls on your chair can I just wake up? you did not just wake up you woke up at 5 30 what are you doing dixie you look guilty of something probably eat a bunch of chocolate um so yeah i'm gonna clean up do the dishes so she made literally five things of bread. The sausages are gone. I'm very surprised. And like not even two of them got eaten. What a waste. She'll throw that shit in the garbage too. Yeah. Right in the garbage. Yeah. I don't know if I'm just coming today or not. And this is basically how every room in my house is left. Yeah, and it probably stays that way. Because, you know, there's no way you have time to clean. Why don't you teach your children to take care of themselves? Here's a lesson. For people who are going to adopt and foster, one of the greatest lessons you can teach children is responsibility, right? They, kids who come from chaotic backgrounds and from adoption and fostering systems, they come from chaos, right? And so when you give kids parameters to live within and like rules and regulations and like a good, I'm not saying too much, but to a degree, hey, there, here's what you're responsible for. Before you leave, make sure your bed's made. I want to make sure your floor's picked up. Okay, that's one of the, and when you don't do that, here are the repercussions for that, right? You don't get your, you don't get your Nintendo at the end of the day, you know, all of this. And they, they start to work within these things because the fe the feeling of like, I, you, I know what you're doing and I have these expectations of you is actually really good for these kids. It, they know that someone's watching out for them, looking for what they're doing and paying attention because they come from a place where they weren't, where they were just like ignored or hurt or otherwise. So you give these kids parameters to live by, structure. It's so important, and she doesn't give them any structure. She lets them do what they want, make a mess that they want, and do and, and buy what they want. None of these kids are learning any good life lessons. It's really, really scary. I know everybody thinks, oh, she's such a good mom for feeding them. No, there are so many more things to being a good parent. And so far, I've seen nothing from this woman about being a good parent. Nothing. Every morning. Not even her eyebrows. Like a war zone. So then, again, real easy. Make what is all of the bathroom door? Is there an exorcism in there? What the? Everywhere. What is that? Yeah, I don't know what Zoe did to her door. Nana's gonna paint that for me. What you have just seen, everybody, is a perfect example of what I've been talking about of these large families who adopt and do all this stuff for cash. There's no way you can parent that many kids because look at what they did. How do you get that far into something like that? I'll tell you how. Because you're not being monitored or parented or watched. That's how. Holy shit. Just disaster. And here's the outline of this, the girl's bathroom. And ew, you're like showing everything of their private life. You're showing their underwear and everything. Alicia, get wrecked. Get wrecked. It's funny because I think people. Think Is it funny? That I do nothing all day while my kids are in school. But no, 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 no. I don't think who says you don't do anything all day. No, I think you do everything, and it's detrimental. Like I just said, structure. Get your kids to put their own damn toothpaste on their toothbrush. Get your kids to do chores. You have 12 children. Six of them are teenagers who are old enough to do big chores, and you don't get them to do anything? No structure whatsoever? Alicia, you're not their friend. You're their mom, okay? You are literally preparing them to be useless Adults, like who, who are entitled, who don't do anything, who don't know what work looks like, anything. You are doing them wrong by doing everything for them. You're dumb. But here's what I do. What? You film it and then walk away from it? There's no way she cleans all that shit up. There's no way. Literally pick up the piece. Here's the $500 coal. Holy shit. That's a, lot of, the that's a lot of perfume that you're using. Back in order every single day. Ew, don't show people's underpants. Oh, she's a liar. Holy oh shit. God. Now look, I'm not the cleanest guy in the world. I get that. Like it's a clutter mess in here. 
But holy shit, you have kids who can do things. James is from, like, the batteries. Anyone else? Teen boys? Just batteries everywhere? No. No. Always. What do you need batteries for? Everything comes, like, ready to be plugged in now. Who's using batteries? And I gotta take care of the chickens. What's up? You can't get kids to take care of chickens? Literally the coolest thing in the world? You do that? You don't... Do chickens eat watermelon? Anyway, what? Your kids can't do anything? Alicia, stop being an idiot. Girls! My mom ended up taking Harley to the museum. I wasn't sure if she was coming today or not. So I just ordered Panera for lunch. I'm going to surprise Josh with a lunch at home. Just me and him. This has not happened in a long time. Let's get it on. You guys know what I'm talking about. Right? For some reason, you and your wife are home at the same time and everybody's gone. And you're like, and you, you, it just dawns on you. You're sitting there. Maybe you guys just, just finished lunch or something. You're like, oh my God, we're both here. There's literally nobody in this house right now. And then just both of you look at each other like, and then you're like this. And then she's like, and then I'm like, and then she's like, and then we're like, you know, nobody else. That's just me. It's everybody, you damn liars. I'm going to quick continue to clean up. Um, I did the dishes. What dishes? What dishes? Everybody uses disposable shit. I gotta clean up this disaster of a table. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean up as much as I can before he comes home. Before the cleaner gets here. Lunch break. As that'll be nineteen hundred dollars, please. Plus tip. I look. I can afford to have food delivered to my house, and I don't. On principle, I'm not paying forty percent more for something I can drive eight minutes to pick up myself. Okay, principle. <laughs> How's your first day? It's going like, is there nobody here? Got you a surprise. <laughs> Paneer up I was just debating on what I got. What am I going to make for lunch? And I don't know what I'm going to have. And you know that internal struggle? No. No, we don't. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This guy is fake. There's no way he's like that in real life. Well, thank you, dear. My yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, this video sucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Your grown ass teenage son can't clean his own room? Nope. Alicia, stop being an idiot. You're like, ew, let them clean up their own rooms. This, at minimum, at minimum, your child should know how to clean their own room. Like, my kids clean their own rooms. Not very well. But they do. Because that's at least the minimum responsibility. Everly's going out now. She's 10. Yeah. She's going to have some chores. She's not going to like it. But she's going to have some chores. Right now, she unloads the dishwasher. Because loading is it's a no-go. You washed one cup? That cost us $30 in water and hydro. Thanks, though. Good work, little one. I'm just saying. Get your kids to do their own shit. It's still a work in progress, but it is something. You're an idiot. Better. You're so dumb for doing that. I got all the shoes organized again, all the coats and jackets hung up. Hi, Dixie. Dog's like, don't talk to me. And I got the table. It's the only time the dog gets any sleep. <laughs> Finally picked up. That pile is all um, promos and unboxing stuff I need to do soon. Holy shit. Phone, new phone just came. So we got to go take that in and get that. iPhone 13. She has a phone. Hooked up. And winter coats 2022 just came, so I was... I write their names on their coats for kid yappers. Labeling all of these. <laughs> we got these blue coats this year. From who? Is it like a Pop sponsorship? It's on Amazon. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no hook room left. Okay, oh my god, I gotta fast forward. I'm sorry, guys. Um, They're not gonna fit, Lush. They're not. Now I need to go pick up Nevea, drop off Alex's disgustingly wet football gear that he just told me he needed that I didn't know he needed, or I would have washed. Lice all that shit. You're sponsored by them. Sp so much Lysol on there that it's flammable. Do it. it today. 
And wait for the kids to get home. Wait. Okay. Okay, Josh is going to take the disgusting clothes to Alex <laughs> and pick up Nevaeh. <laughs> so I can watch for buses. Oh my god, here we go. Here's the number. Okay, I'm not doing it. You are. You're... I've seen a lot of comments. I think Nevaeh is getting off the bus soon. A lot of comments about Nevaeh not like in this vibe of this family. And I don't know because I don't watch the show. I only snark on these episodes, but something tells me something's up. And a lot of, I get, a, cause I get, when I get like a hundred comments and some certain thing, like I might not respond to everybody, but I start seeing the thing. I'm like, okay, there's something's up. So it's interesting. Not at every sport. And if you can't parent 12 kids, like, and, and you make them do everything, if there's one struggling a lot, like it seems like, a, and I'm, I'm just all conjecture. Could Neve could be the happiest girl in the entire world. I don't know. I don't want to know. Right. But it's really telling that if you can't parent that many kids and you got one that's really struggling, that all you do is film them. It just doesn't sit right with me. You missed. Watch out, Patrick. I said I shot him today. You did. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You just cut whatever they said there out. All right. just got back. Oh yeah. You shouldn't have a phone. If you're not like a, like I mean it's 15, 16. Everly is so mad at me because I won't give her a phone because all her friends have phones. I'm like, your friends have phones? They're ten. They're ten. You do not give a child unfettered access to the internet at ten. You morons. If you're watching this and your daughter is friends with my daughter and you're their parents, get wrecked. Okay? Stop giving kids literal phones at 10. Because then you pressure me and I'm not, I'm not going to buckle. It ain't happening. Nope. I'm not supposed to, but yeah. I'll be right in. I'm just waiting for... I'm just filming the buses. The kids. Fun on TikTok wanted to know where you got your shoes too. So I put it in the Amazon. Someone on TikTok wants to know where your kids get shit. And so... Storefront. So I put it in Amazon to make money on it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my god, literally. This is what Alicia thinks is gonna solve Nevaeh's problems, if Nevaeh has problems. I don't. That's what a lot of people seem to think who watch this stuff religiously and who are into the vibes. But she thinks that's gonna be the answer. And it's not gonna be the answer, Alicia. Here's the answer, right? You ready? Everybody ready? You ready? Parenting your children, developing deep bonds, spending one on one time, getting them the therapies that they need. That's what's gonna help them. Yeah? Structure, that'll help too. You know, here's some chores you need to do. I don't care if it makes you upset. You're going to do those things, and then you'll get this iPhone 13. Right? Okay. Alicia, you suck at parenting. We got to go get it hooked up. Yeah. All the comments like, you feed your children. You're such a good man. We got to run into Walgreens Grill. Oh, Walgreens, eh? I thought Walgreens was out there, Alosh. She's got a Doherty Dozen sticker on her van. Are you kidding me right now? What are you? Why are you looking for the attention from locals? You don't. You need to keep your children's. You idiot. Keep your children safe. Who cares if people in wherever you're from in upstate New York know who you are in your little town? No one gives a shit. But there are dangerous people who might be looking for you and you literally have a target on your bus. Same with eight passengers. You guys are so stupid. Walgreens for snacks. We need six carts for a snack haul. Okay, pick your feet up when you walk. That's one thing you teach your kids too. Don't drag your feet. Okay. Step straight. All right, we'll have to just get one of these. No, you don't need that. Go, go, go. That's new. Whoa, what? Fat feet. Oh. Oh, they don't have it. Yeah. What? what are they looking? She's looking for her white claw. So she's going after school pickups to the store to get some white claw. Are you kidding me, Alicia? Why are you filming that? You're such an idiot. What an idiot. You're s she's doing that because she, of the people who call her out. That's the only reason she's doing that. And Alicia, it's not going to go well for you. I promise you. I promise you. The people calling you out for drinking alcohol around kids who have FASD and every single one of your children that come from the system have FASD, according to you. And you're literally like just flexing it on everybody that you drink around your kids who have fetal alcohol syndrome disorder. It doesn't make you look good. It's not a flex. It really isn't. It makes you look really bad. You should probably go back to hiding it. No, You're nasty. The 
something like athlete foot cream and white claw. It's White Claw Wednesday. <laughs> it's White Claw every day. Look at your eyes. We know. She did that. She thinks she's like, I'm going to troll my trollers. Yeah, the joke's on you, dumbass. We got this new phone hooked up. Grab stuff at Walgreens and now we're... No, you grabbed alcohol at Walgreens. Yeah, football. See, here's the thing. She spends one-on-one time with like the kids who are like in sports and stuff like that. And I get that. But she doesn't spend one-on-one time with the people she actually needs to be spending one-on-one time with, to be honest with you. That's what I'm seeing. And I could be wrong because I don't watch her stuff religiously. But that's just my first... That's what I see. Okay, this looks really bad. So. Me, pick up Jay. With Deshaun, I gotta go back and get Alex and James. They were not ready yet. How is your... And I'm back again to pick up Alex. Yeah, Alex. Hi. Stop filming me, Mom. You're such a loser. How's your day? Tired. Oh. Oh, I cleaned your room now. I'm like not to do anything. You know me. Did you see, see us at your practice? Yeah. Yeah, you're an idiot. Stop drawing attention to us, Mom. There are people making fun of me on the internet. And now my friends are making fun of me at school. You ruined my life. I got a few plays. Ah, uh, teenage angst. I had two that went through teenage angst. Sucks. And I've got two more coming up through teenage angst. So exciting. Yes, okay. So excited for teenage okay, angst. We got the kids showered in pajamas and put to bed. It is... 11? 8, oh. 19. What, your 18-year-olds um, are going to bed at 8 o'clock? So, okay. yeah, they all had a great day. So, some questions I always ask my kids, like, on their first day is, you know, how was your day? Did you get the white claw ordered? Obviously. But I always ask, who did you sit with at lunch? You can find out a lot when you ask that question. Can um, you? Especially if maybe they didn't sit with anyone at lunch and they're still trying to find their place or... Um, well, you're not going to help them find their place when literally sharing every intimate detail about their life you need to allow okay remember when you were in school okay did you share every intimate detail of your life especially if you had trauma with everybody at school no you didn't you like kept some of that to yourself because you have the right to keep that to yourself right you didn't want to tell everybody every bit of your problems these kids do not get that benefit because she tells the world their problems she looks like a damned ghost here that's really weird what kind of people they're hanging out with you just with can you get some lights that works please that question i tend to find out a lot more Bone than when i just say how was your day um so yeah thank you for joining us on our first day of school you're beautiful and kind i have a zoom to get to i have a white cloud to drink but i will be on morning routine tomorrow and i will see you then you are strong you're beautiful you're loved you belong and i am so proud of you belong to what what do they belong to I'll see you next time. F off. Well, there you go. Ew. That was... Just, okay, let's just recap that whole thing. Made way too much disgusting food. Everybody eats off paper plates. The guy was scooping the bread. Like, cut it. Like, put the loaves out and cut it. Just take a slice. Put some butter on it. I don't know. Also, maybe don't show little intimate details about where your kids go to school. Just maybe. I don't know. <laughs> just guessing. And then don't go to Walgreens after school and pick up White Claw, you moron. Oh my gosh, I don't like this lady. A lot of people don't like this lady. And for good reason. Lady, learn how to parent. You're bad at this. You're terrible at this. Nobody thinks you're good. Except for your weirdo fans like, it's so good how you feed them food? Oh my God, I'd love to live with you. You feed food to your kids. Like comments are like, the bus driver asking if you want to get a picture of Jordan? No, she was filming it. The bus driver didn't know she's filming it. You are mom goals. Calm, caring, and supportive. How about maybe just parenting your children properly? Teaching them good things, healthy habits. Nope, there's not one healthy habit I've seen Alicia teach her children yet. Nothing, not, not one. They don't know the value of a dollar. They don't know how to clean. They don't know how to put their own damn toothpaste on their toothbrush. They don't have any chores. They can get whatever they want without question. There are no healthy habits. Well, the healthy, like that's the amount of crap, garbage they eat. No healthy habits yet. None, zero. That's not going to serve your children when they're older, and you're going to see that later. And you deserve everything coming your way, Alusha. You damned douche. Everybody take a deep breath. You like my sweater? It's nice, I know. It's not really, I don't like it. 
looked ugly. So whatever. But you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing and incredible and valuable. Don't you ever forget, people need you in their lives. I know I say that all the time, but soak that in. People need you here. You are important. I'll see you tomorrow.